Ranger, and we're here from Zoom In at Big Cat. Let's zoom in to find out what Ledge is doing to improve youth health. My name is Tracy. I um, work for Literacy for Environmental Justice, uh, which is the organization that built this eco center. So I welcome you to Heron's Head Park. This eco center is an off the grid building. Any ideas of what off the grid means? If you search it up, you can't find it. Okay, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. If you search on the internet, maybe you won't find it. Yeah. It's not in the government's records or something. Like uh, not in the government's records, so off the record. <laughs> Maybe? Doesn't it have to do with that like you don't use power and have like, it has to do with like your carbon Bingo. footprint? Bingo! That's it! We're not using the city's electricity. There's no power lines that come out to the eco center. We're independent. Off the grid means independent. We're self-sufficient. We're self-reliant. We're functioning without sending our sewage into the city. I'm going to show you guys why our bathrooms are so cool. So those are 5,000 gallon barrels that collects rainwater, and that's going to be enough rain to last us the whole year. All the liquids will come in here. And then in here, there's beneficial bacteria. That means really great bacteria that eats up all the nutrients. You get some clear water. That water is going to come right through this part of the tank. This UV light is going to kill all the viruses and, and pathogens. And then this, the last part of the water filtration process it's going to go through this constructed wetlands. Did anybody know what used to be over there? Yeah, pg and &E. &E power plant. Wow. You see that red smokestack right there? All right, so that's the city's last power plant. That's my Bay Cat. Oh, right, my Bay Cat. That's right. Second to last power plant in all of San Francisco is right here. It was called the Evans Street Power Plant in Hunters Point. All right, so this power plant used to be right here in this community. What was right behind the power plant, right on the hill? Homes. Homes. Anybody know specifically which homes? West Point. West Point right there. So those are housing projects, some projects right up there. Anybody here who has asthma? Who has asthma? Raise your hand. Who knows someone with asthma? So the main reason why people get asthma is because of power plants, trucks, and so there's three main reasons why people have asthma. Secondhand smoke. And smoke. Secondhand smoke. That's number four. Thank you. You guys have so much knowledge. Please share that with me. What do you think is the biggest youth health issue today? Uh, one of the big issues in our neighborhood is that we have a lot of liquor stores, but not enough grocery stores. And we have a lot of fast food restaurants, but not enough healthy food options. So one of the things that I'm personally working on and that my organization, Literacy for Environmental Justice, is working on is how to involve youth in order to get healthier options for food in the neighborhood. Some of the ideas that have come up are, you know, teaching nutrition classes in schools, um, having cooking parties, doing a public service announcement or making a documentary about the effects of junk food on your health. Youth have been really helpful in, in helping us answer that question. Thank you, Robin. It's nice talking with you. I'm Lamar Turner, and we're zooming out.